Welcome back all you sports and gambling fans out there. Today we're doing some NBA betting coverage and we have here Joe Gavazzi, our SBR contributor. The game we're looking at is the Portland Trailblazers going up against the Washington Wizards. Pleasure to have you here again, Joe. How are you doing today? Doing great, Dax. Nice to be here with the SBR video team. Fortunately, although the college basketball isn't going to be in full bloom till tomorrow, we do have some NBA that can provide us winning action tonight. All right, let's pick it up with the 44 and 20 Blazers. Now they're coming into this match riding a three game winning streak and have won eight of their last 10 games while also going seven and three against the spread in that same span. Now they also already beat the Wizards 103 to 96 back on January the 24th. So Joe, I mean, do you think that we can expect to see a little bit more of the same in this particular matchup? Fortunately for the Blazers, I think they're in a very good spot tonight. Let's just look at a backdrop of this game and understand that the stronger Western Conference, and we're about two-thirds to three-quarters of the way through the season, has won 65% of their games when facing their brethren from the East, and that includes Portland going 20-6 and six straight up in games against Eastern Conference foes. As you point out, the Blazers are a hot team, and that has spanned the loss of their starting shooting guard Matthews to an Achilles injury, which will have him out for the season. Fortunately for the Blazers, they acquired Aaron Aflalo in the trade deadline, and he has filled in admirably for Matthews and will continue to do so in what is one of the most feared and respected lineups in the NBA. Portland will have a positive performance tonight. All right. Now, on the other side of the hardwood, we have the 38 and 28 Washington Wizards, and they too are riding a three game winning streak. However, they haven't been as dominant as Portland. Now, so far in the last 10 games, they've only been able to win five of those and only covered in three of the last 10. So what else can you tell us about Washington in this spot, Joe? Well, I respect the fact that the Washington Wizards may have turned things around. So we're going to be a little cautious about how strongly we play this game based on the 3-0 and straight up an ATS run. But more with the long-term current form, as you accurately point out, Dax, Washington is a team that has not provided great value to their backers in the last eight weeks or so. So we don't have much fear of the Washington Wizards on a court where they have not been an outstanding investment prior to those victories in the last week. They were just 13 and 19 against the spread at home. Okay, so now if we look at the betting side of this, we have the Wizards coming in as two point uh, favorites. But, you know, I, I think it's pretty clear that we should actually be grabbing the two points in this spot. Right, Joe? Well, you're absolutely right, Dax. Anytime that we get a chance to have the Portland Plate, the Trailblazers, as an underdog against the Eastern Conference, that's the basis of a strong look. The fact that they've been able to rebound without Matthews in, in the lineup is an even stronger indicator, as is their current form. As I said, I respect the Washington turnaround. But until they've proven it on a longer basis like the Blazers have, we'll be lining up with Portland as an underdog against an Eastern foe. All right. Good stuff, Joe. Man, as always, a pleasure talking with you. Thanks for the insights and the pick here. And we'll pick it up again tomorrow. Good luck out there, guys. Talk to you tomorrow with College Hoops. All right. Take care. Everyone else, don't forget to check back with us tomorrow for some more sports coverage and your free picks. Till then, for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd.